Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a game called Permute. Now, I um, saw this on Steam Greenlight a, a week or so ago, that it was approved and ready to come out, and then I got an email yesterday that it had been released, and so I was super excited to play it. It's, it's a weird premise. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. It's a platformer, but it's a puzzle game with I don't know I don't know it's easier to just just play it and see what happens so I see 10 levels now let's start with level one so whoa my goodness okay so this is very sensitive oh okay so jumping changes the orientation of no cool there's no there's nowhere to lower the mouse sensitivity okay so okay so I'm just gonna bumble along about this game So from what I've seen, it's all about changing the object and dealing with a changing environment. Huh. I don't think I can make that jump. I thought you could pick up and move blocks to where you needed them to be, but it looks like... Okay, that jump is just a little too far. It looks like the blocks move on their own. So one there, one there, one there. I don't think that that gives me enough. Okay, well, I don't know if it's an early access. I don't believe it's an early access. I believe they just released the whole game. But it did come out yesterday. It is a Steam Greenlight project, which means I'm sure there's a lot to be fixed. So. I really want to make this jump and see what comes next, but. I don't think it's possible. Unless I'm missing something. Because that jump is just... That jump is just barely too far, or barely within the range. And even if I keep my moment, it's, it's impossible to keep my momentum up here because I have to jump to the left and the right and the... Uh, well, maybe this won't be a video. <laughs> Who knows? Or it'll just be a rage quit of me doing this over and over again. Which, speaking of rage quits, I bought, um, I got an Omnibus recently. Does zooming make me jump further? <sighs> okay, so my mouse is perfectly set, perfectly offset. So I can't use it to click things. There's no settings. Can I skip the first level? I can skip the first level. All right, so we're gonna go on to level two. I didn't look at what this does. Okay, stay right in the middle. Yeah. Oh, I can make that. No, I can't. Why did I think I could make that? Huh. Huh. All right. Okay, so we've got ourselves a big, scary wall. Oh, the wall turns. I really like the concept of this game. I mean, it's a little clunky right now, but it, it just released yesterday, so... I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm I'm really enjoying the premise. I just have a couple of things to Oh no. Oh. <laughs> that I like a lot. Oh no. Oh. 
That was cool. I'm really glad that it worked, that I was able to... Not that time. Press the space while in the air and replace the block that I accidentally misplaced. But a lot of these jumps seem that you're just able to make them and that seems a little bit unsavory because the way that this is set up it's really difficult to judge where the actual end of your running space is. Ooh, and I just... I don't know, maybe it's supposed to seem like an unfair platformer. No! Alright, Jesus. Walk straight. But it's it makes it frustratingly annoying because you accidentally... It's not the game trying to trick you. It's because you accidentally fall because the judging is so strange yeah like here I mean it would be intentional but if like one of them was spaced different than the others yes I beat level two we're not gonna talk about level one level one never happened but we're gonna do all right so ha oh, see a double click see this one right here <sighs> I mean, if I gained speed when I ran up, it'd be a different story, but I don't believe that I can make it all the way over there, and changing this gives me as much as I could possibly... Uh, no, it, it, it doesn't seem like it's something that can be done, and that's the biggest issue. Well, I tried to just split the gap by walking across it. That did not work. But I really like the premise of the game, and I really hope that um, the developers get a lot of feedback from people on Steam and there it is again, and try to to fix it so that it can be played. Ah, I mean it can be played, but it can't. It, it doesn't seem like it's intentionally being mean. It seems like it's just impossible to do. It's not like, oh, it's impossible. It's actually, you're unable to do it. And that would definitely cause a lot of issues trying to play a game. See... <laughs> This is just me bad, my bad timing, but I mean, even so, it's, the controls are not nearly crisp enough to get away with something like that. I've just been pressing space, what happened? See, even holding space doesn't let me fly any further. And you can't get up there, so that's why there's that. I don't know, overall, I really like the art style, I really like the premise, the execution, I guess, could use a little bit of work, just in order to make it a little more fun to play, just so that there's not, unless, <laughs> I mean, based on everything I've read, I don't think it's supposed to be an unfair platformer rage quitty game, but... If it is, I apologize, and you're doing everything correct. Because it's awful frustrating to keep falling in between these spaces. But, that aside... You try to trick me there. Ha! You can't do that! Bubbles knows! See, now they're getting further apart towards the end of the puzzle, and the last one's too far away! Oh my goodness. Yeah, the last one was too far away. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That is Permute, which is developed by Clever Week Games. And um, I'm going to try to leave a review on Steam right now, because I know it just came out and a lot of people haven't. And I just want to want to get this game rolling and see if we can get some feedback from the developers on how they can change it to make it a little easier. Now, I might just be a whiny little little bitch, but 
I feel like it's ruining the integrity of the game. But enough about that. Thank you so much for watching. This is The Trouble with Bubbles. And I hope to see you in the next video.